Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. So in order to make the link working between our uh, drink items here and between our uh, drink detail, what we need to do is to go to our drink row, which is this scroll view here, and we are going to add a link to each item in the row. So let's, uh, let's go to our drink row.swift file. And here we have for each drink, and then we are creating a drink item. So what we want to do is to wrap this drink item into a navigation link. So this is like a segways kind of that we used to have in a normal storyboard with Swift. So the navigation link, uh, if we wrap this around, it means whenever our user clicks on the drink item that is inside our row, uh, we are going to call this navigation link, which is going to go from one view to the other. So I'm creating a navigation link and then we are going to provide a destination by telling to which view it should go. And the destination in our case is going to be drink detail. And if we create a drink detail view, we need to provide it with a drink object, as you remember. And our drink object, we can actually get it from our drink here because we are having a for each loop. So the drink is going to be my drink and everything else I'm going to get rid of it. And here instead I'm going to put my curly braces and just cut my drink item and put it inside my navigation link here. So let's just command P make sure everything is working. And I'm going to run my application on a simulator. And we're going to test if it goes from our uh, menu here to a detail view. As you can see, it does. So let's try the Fredo Espresso. And everything is nice and working. We can click and it will take us to the detail view. So our navigation link is working. And what we need to do now is, let's actually test our button here. You can see, add to basket cold brew, which is the title of our uh, coffee here. So what we need now is to be able to actually catch this function whenever we're clicking to add to basket and take the item here and add it to our basket. So whenever we click on a basket, we can open our basket and see the item there.